have got you, you smelly old witch. It's useless to run. I know who you are. <laughs> I am Phil Berg. You are mine. <laughs> you can't escape Phil Berg. Alien Hunter! Oh, whoa! You know where everything is, right? I do. I've lived here for years. Oh, right. <laughs> no, uh, uh, food's in the refrigerator. Uh, still. That's a really good place for it. And it can yeah. relax. Enjoy Phoenix. We'll be fine. I know. Oh, Gail, thanks for doing this. Sure. Uh, I'm going to be late. I'll call between meetings. OK. Oh, Ken. Yeah. One thing. Where are the kids? Not really good, Robbie. Thanks. Nice colorful beach attire. What, you going for the seal look? I know. After three years in New York, I've forgotten what colors I was. My entire wardrobe is black. That is not true. You wore dark gray socks yesterday. We've just been advised by the Weather Bureau that a fast-moving storm is sweeping along the westerly coast. As a result, high surf and rough waters may cause dangerous beach conditions. Please stay tuned for the latest weather updates of Southern California. Hey, look at this. Oh. We wanted to be junior lifeguards so bad, remember? Oh, no. I am way too out of practice. It'll come back to you. And besides, you're in great shape from your bike of thoughts. We have a strong riptide at the point. Sending two guards to life station number 23. No, no, stay on the walkie with me. Erica, we would make a great team. You knew we were going to be here today, didn't you? Yep. And you were just like me. You could not resist a challenge. I can, too. OK, I'm interfering. Oh, I've got to work on that. <laughs> come on. This sounds exactly like the rock map I found in the silver mine. There's no picture. You can't tell. It's just a feeling. Unique stone tablet with ancient cryptic symbols. Call Carl. Carl? Oh, no. Yeah, I've got to check this out. It may be the key to my way home. OK, but you're not going there without me. Let's go. Hey, guys. Where are you going? Go trading with Carl. Oh, I don't know him. What are you trading for? A rock. But aren't there lots of rocks all? Oh, never mind. Have a good time. Let's go. Look at this mess. Yeah, this attic could use a good cleaning. No. Mom, this is my mess, and Dad's been trying to teach me responsibility, and I'm going to clean it up soon. But if you got to clean, there's always my room. Careful, Josh. <laughs> this doesn't feel right. Let's go. Oh. 
Carl, all right. Hard to tell what all right is with Carl. <laughs> Where's the map? We won't find it. That's what it came here for. It? What kind of it? I'm materializing his charged magnetic lumina. We'll be able to track the creature. Creature? It's getting cooler by the minute. This may not be exactly the kind of alien you're used to, Josh. right here under your arm. <coughs> Don't worry. <coughs> the pain goes away after the first few hours. <coughs> oh, come on, let's go. This is where he came. The footprints stop here. See this? Yeah, it's a rock. Right. A dead rock. All the minerals have been sucked out. Oh, you mean extract? No. I mean sucked. We'll have to build an energy detector to continue our search. I'm all over that. Alan, aren't you excited? This guy could be your ride home. I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. Hey, hey, Ted. Uh, how's things at the cable company? Good. Uh, look, I, I, I got your memo, and, and I, I know that ratings haven't been good on the show. <laughs> but you know, alien hunting, <laughs> it goes in cycles. Listen, I just need a little more time. I came this close to bagging an alien today! <laughs> Talking with you, Ted. Al dente. You're gonna love this. My mom is the best to cook. Okay, ladies. My world famous carbo load pasta is ready. That looks great, Mom. This is so nice, Mom. Thank you. I miss this. I know. <laughs> Just the girls? It has been Dad and Josh and Alan for, like, months. Finally, we can do things like... <coughs> <laughs> like that. I'll chow down, you two. This will give those sore muscles something to feed on. What about the dead ones? <laughs> we should have seen this, Mom. We must have swam, like, three miles. Yeah, I swam one and Bob, too. <laughs> Erica did great. By the end of the day, we were nose to nose. Yeah, well, fear of drowning is a big motivator. Well, how are you two doing on the first aid portion? Well, our bandaging could use some bandaging. <laughs> well, you came to the right place. Oh, yes. Mom slash nurse takes over. Great. I'll be back in a sec. I'm going to call my mom and tell her I'm going to hang here. Okay. It's nice to see Erica again. It must be hard for her moving back and having to fit in all over again. Well, she's doing OK. But maybe you have one of your helpful mom stories, like you used to tell me. Hmm. Do you mean? Like the one about how I surfed against the world champion, beat him, and saved Zuma Beach from an evil developer? Well, that was one of my favorites. I never believed a word of it, but I loved it. It was true. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. I could have sworn Dad's old metal detector was up here. Hey, you found it. Now all I need is a transistor radio, and we're back on the trail. Cool. Welcome. I'm Brandon. I'll be testing you today on fitness and first aid. Our first event will be beach flag elimination. So we got, what, six people here? But only five batons. What's your goal? Your goal is to get one. Anybody who doesn't get at least one 
in three trials is out. Guys, let's go! Go, go! Come on, quicker! Let's go! Yes, come on! Let's go, guys! And uh, who got the baton here? Um, Eric. All right, good job, guys. You both passed this phase. <laughs> must be the place. Triclid lair. Triclid? They hunt Zelons. Get out of here. A long time ago, Triclids and Zelons lived in peace, but they were drawn to the darkness and we to the light. They have vowed to destroy all of us. Come on. Destroy? You mean it? This Triclid will kill me if he finds us here. Let's go! Hey, look! The map! It doesn't matter. We've got to... Josh, no! No! Alan, catch! What is this stuff? Alan, I'm stuck! I can't get out! Just relax. Relax or you're nuts I'm about to be someone's dinner! Tricloids don't care about humans. It won't hurt you if you don't show it for you. No problem. <laughs> I thought I heard something in here. Man, am I relieved you're a human. <laughs> Son, what are you doing in all this goo? <laughs> it's a long story, but I could use some help. Say no more. <laughs> Alan, you can come out. It's not a tricloid. Can you get me out? Did you say tricloid? Yeah, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. You underestimate me. Sign you alien ingrate. last night. What was that your mom said? You remember. The anatomic splint? Right. The anatomic splint. Oh, what was that again? The splint that uses another body part to support it. So we need triangular advantages? Right. Okay. Hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> uh, we bind the splint to the nearest largest body part, which is the femur. Femur. Oh, mm. Erica. What? Actually, the chest is the best choice. But the femur should work too. It supports the arm. I'll show you. Okay, look. If you take the arm and you support it by the femur, 
Then when the paramedics come and say, oh, she's okay, let her get up and walk around. <laughs> See? <laughs> you know, this may seem funny now, but... Oh, no, I was just... Aggravating your victim's injury. No, but she didn't... No excuses, Robbie. You can't have any in an emergency. Erica, how would you split a broken arm? To the chest with a soft and strong splint. <laughs> That's perfect. And why don't you go over it a few times with Robbie so she can learn it, too? No. Leave him alone. It's me you want. Alan, don't! See ya! Run, Alan! <laughs> right this! Congratulations. Is that it? Are we done? Yeah. Listen, you know, you guys did really great out there. You really gave it your all. But you didn't quite make the cut. I'm sorry. You're both really close. I mean, hey, if, if everybody made it, then we'd have nobody left to save. I'm, I'm sorry. have a big advantage over the tricoids. We use our intelligence to drive us. They use their anger. Now, about this goo. Just relax, the goo will fall away. Well, you could have told me that before. Trust me, you were safer here. Where's the map? All right. Let's go. The triclines are so dangerous, why don't you just destroy it? Ceylons don't destroy. You may think of it as our weakness, but it's our strength. Now that I know the triclode is here, I can avoid him. Aren't you afraid? Yes. Sea lions have always lived with this fear. A triclodian distress call. It means others will come for revenge. When we least expect it. Then we better expect it, huh? my two junior lifeguards doing? We failed. You're kidding, right? For the first time, I have a reason for wearing black. You're not kidding. We were so close. It was just a few lousy seconds. 
A couple of seconds is kind of important when it comes to someone's life. I trained so hard all day yesterday. Mm, sounds rigorous. Okay, we could have trained a little longer like everyone else. Well, why did you guys want to do this anyway? To do, do something, something together. together. <laughs> well, congrats. Then you did it. Hey, look. Thursday from five, catch an amazing lineup of back to back iCarly. She's an irritable little teenager, isn't she? Yeah. Why can't my life be normal? And go online at nick.co.uk forward slash iCarly to play brand new iCarly games. Plus, you can catch the hottest celebrity interviews, fashion, music, and loads more with me, Ollie. You can find all this in Team Nick this Thursday from five only on Nick.